Okay, kind of a big deal today. Bobby Witt is coming on the show. Bobby Witt Jr., even, if you can believe it. Um, I don't feel prepared. I don't feel like my sports knowledge is up to snuff. So if I'm not gonna talk it, I gotta look it. So, let's see what we got. All right, um, hmm. Glove, you got, you got the glove on. I'm getting nervous. Okay, not, they say all sizes, not every size. Yeah, I know. All right, baseball. <sighs> Fits like a glove, speaking of. And baseball bat. He's not gonna know I'm not a professional. Let's do this. Welcome via Nashu. Office open, you like that? Straight yeah. Michael Scott. Now you come in with the fake chainsaw. We're gonna slash sales. I don't feel comfortable with any of this opening. You don't look comfortable. You know why I don't feel comfortable? I came in here without my wedding ring, without a watch. I basically feel my Fitbit's a watch now, essentially. Is everything I don't okay? use it for anything else. Guys, it's episode number five. Is everything okay at home? <laughs> don't you ask don't have me a, that. You know, don't you, I do have a ring on. Oh, this is a bizarro episode already. Guys, we're excited. Bobby Witt's here. And our marriages are falling apart. Stop saying that, babe. It's not. I love you so no, much. No, he's kidding. He forgot his <laughs> ring. Where's he um, gonna go? Yeah, no offense. True. He buried no, up so hard. It's, it's ridiculous. A, it's a ridiculous. Upgrade. If you ever did it, I would murder you. No, that's a good. We're call. good. Thank you. There's a good intro, guys. Let's get into the sports card nonsense talk. Sure, Ryan. We doing card shop? Card show first. Card show first. All right, let's do it. Let's see what the kid has for us. He's wearing a wedding ring this week for no reason. <laughs> so what happened here, Ryan? So it is 24 hours of nonstop travel this weekend. Ugh. I'm taking the earliest flight from Orlando to LAX and the last flight of the day from LA back what, to Orlando. Who, where is he flying? On that Does he one. get but miles? It's 24 hours he flies nonstop between travel and the card show. Let's see how it goes. That's why he's young. <gasps> he's going where we're going next week. Super Bowl. That's our LA, house. baby. Oh, I love Thomas this Edward. Here we go. Here we go. Burbank Sports Cards. We'll be there. We're filming some content. They don't know that yet, but we're going. Oh, we're going, baby. Hey, guys, if you're watching, if you're one of the few people who's watched our videos, we're coming to you next week. Don't say that. Everyone watches. I'm kidding. What have been people asking for the most so far at the LA Card Show? Uh, Anthony Volpe, uh, John Morant, uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Oh, baseball. Uh, okay, a couple of those. Volpe, yeah, I was going to say. Prospect for the yeah, yeah, that's quarterbacks. Volpe, star prospect for the Yankees. Oh. Underrated, by the way. Came up in 2000, Bowman with Jason Dominguez. How's the movement been on Matthew Stafford and Tom Brady at the card show? Uh, since Brady announced his retirement, it's been great. They've been going for full Oh, we got sticker. a baby I face. I like that. Jump that's coming up. Full uh, sticker. As far as Stafford goes, it's a little bit slower since he doesn't have that MVP or that ring behind him. But you can definitely feel that I'm surprised. I thought people would be more. Buy once he gets that win tonight. It I makes thought people would be so, prospect. Uh, oh, this was Saturday. bad buy for anyone to grab him right now. So. That's what makes sense with what we've seen on card letters. Had, you, a lot had you bought that day, though, it would have been all right. Because yeah. then he won. <laughs> I hope Ryan bought him. Sure. That's a lot of packs. That's a burrito. Now we're talking my language. Yeah, baby. He heard you. <laughs> Is he live? I'll take Wait a, a bite, Ryan. Give me that bite. All right, Luis, what has been moving the most at the show today? Uh, anything Kobe, anything Tom Brady, obviously, you know, because uh, I guess, you know, sources are saying that he's retiring. But, um, you know, I mean, anything, you know, that has to do with, uh, you know, MVPs or GOATs, you know what I mean? That's what people are looking for right now. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of the old stuff's moving, you know, because of the, the, the market's being fluctuated with a lot of the new product. So a lot of people are, that are getting into it are, you know, going back to the, the, the old product, you know what I mean? Don't mention so, Kobe yeah, with Tom Kobe. Brady. Someone said Kobe pricing was going down recently. On his over, like, high over, number base okay. stuff. Yeah, high pop base stuff. All right, so initial thoughts on this that place is busy, show. though. That's cool. First, it's absolutely packed, but there's no room in He's, these rows. This morning, I could barely walk through, and I know a few dealers were complaining about that. I mean, you guys probably saw the footage. There was zero walking room. But card-wise, this is a modern card show. It's a there's also COVID a few Pokemon cards throughout, <laughs> and there's also some other type of collectibles such as sneakers. People are selling hats, 
jerseys. Oh, and interesting. Art. So a mixture of everything. I wouldn't say it's a diverse of the show as something like Dallas, which has the vintage side of things, but this show definitely has a lot to offer. I the like last that. couple shows has been so 24 hours later, Every I am show. back in Orlando. Hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. Next weekend, I'm going to Rhode Island. But guys, check out this TSA line. This is why Orlando Airport is horrible. Holy. Wait, what? Oh, you just bring the bomb on the plane. <laughs> Is that, is that how you do that? that? We're about to get on a plane. If you tell the TSA people right, you have a bomb, do you get to skip the, the line? Guys, we're going to be out there next week. The we're Super Bowl trip just got pumped. canceled. Mike's on the no-fly list. <laughs> exactly. That, that's fun. <laughs> we have fun when we do things like uh, this. You know this. I'm a memorabilia guy. Shows. Underrated. Love it. I, I, I like cards, but I always try to buy memorabilia. I, I really am excited to see what's out there. I want to go to Burbank, and that's the plan, right? Burbank. We're going to Burbank for a day. We're going Sports to L.A. Cards? The bullpen. <sighs> bullpen, bullpen has getting, a couple shots. shivers. I'm getting excited. Do you wish you had a long sleeve shirt on that wasn't rolled up? No. Do you feel naked without your wedding ring? My wife dresses me. That's how close we are, even without a wedding ring, okay? She thinks I I'll talk do it wardrobe myself. all day. <laughs> Went shopping last week for the first time pretty much in my life. So all right. I'm next. following your lead. Next, I Bobby. think it's only time we, uh, yeah, we got to get Bobby in here. So here's the deal. Let me set this interview up real quick. I'm going to look you in the eye over there, sweetheart, holding the camera. <laughs> it's on a stand, by the way. No one's holding that. So we pulled a nasty Bobby Witt card last, two weeks ago, out of Flawless. Yep. The dual patch RPA, which sold for $800, $810, actually. Uh, Would have been cool to pull it in front of him, but we didn't. <laughs> So Bobby's going to do a rip. Also, we recorded this last week anyways, a couple days Don't ago. Don't say that. No, we That's didn't. why Jesse's wearing the same clothes. And that, However. Look at you. That's a new wardrobe. You what look did you, really good. Oh, did you ask about my shoes matching? Oh, my goodness. Khaki on khaki. I bought, I, I will tell you right now. You know what? We're <laughs> What's hey, Bob, hey, Bobby, hold on for a second, sweetheart. <laughs> I got new shirts. Designer shirts. Hannah picked these out. I got fitted jeans. Yeah, but my shirts are from JC Penney. When so. you have quads like I do, fitted jeans, a little don't bit talk tough. About quads. This over shirt for no reason. When you look fashionable, you just add extra layers of crap for no reason. And I got two pairs of shoes. I'm good. Bobby, Bobby Witt's Witt. here. Take it away. Bobby, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. This is especially uh, knowing that you are one of the hottest prospects in the market right now. Is that fair to say, Mike? Very fair to say. Sure. Yeah. No, we appreciate you making time, man. We did our best to butcher this interview. As the audience knows, we, we tried to get it early, and of course, we couldn't get it working. So thanks for jumping on. So you've got like some a giveaway for the crowd today. Is that kind of the plan here? Yeah, I got a Mosaic, 20, Mosaic 2021 box. Uh, so that's going to be up. And so we'll see, see what happens with that. And nice. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, no, we're pumped. So, so I am curious, like cards themselves. I know you have to sign a ton, obviously, for tops and Panini. I'm sure. What's your? Are you in the card world now? Breaking it all, buying singles. Yeah, I actually got into it a little bit with the start of start of COVID. Kind of like a lot of people, I guess, have gotten into it, and so just been been just looking around, collecting guys that I like, and just really been going on eBay and doing a little bit of bidding wars on that. So that's been a lot of fun, kind of in my free time after I get done working out and stuff, get back home and just kind of look up PSA tens and just start, start uh, closest ending time or whatever, and then start bidding away. And so I've been doing that. It's, it's been, it's a fun little hobby and also investment too. So it's, it's been a lot of fun. That's so awesome. So I am curious, you ever hear from any of the guys you win cards from? Like, as if I'm printing a label and I see Bobby Witt in Dallas, I'd be like, all right, <laughs> I'll ship you this card. If you send me an autograph, like anybody ever actually reached out and figured out who you are? No, not not yet. So hopefully, yeah. really, still keep it after on the, today. The, 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 uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't share your eBay ID with us right now. That would yeah. ruin this whole thing. Yeah. So let so, me ask though: Have you uh, actually done a search for your own card yet? I I really haven't. I, I get a lot of stuff like in the mail and that type of things, and so uh, not really. But I've actually I've gotten one. I did a trade with someone just to get at my for like a, a PSA ten of my card, and wow. so it was really nice. cool to. Very good. Cool. Well, we just pulled your just card to, last week. Just to have that. Yeah, actually, yeah. I, we opened a box for the audience. It was like fifteen hundred bucks. Got absolutely murdered. Exactly. And then the last card was a was you a dual patch for that product called Flawless. Ended up being worth like eight hundred oh, bucks. Sweet. It kind of kind of bailed us out. Yeah. But so I am curious. So how does it work with you signing autographs like for Tops for Panini? Do they just send things to your house? They have a guy come and like watch you sign it. Do you have to go somewhere? How does that work? Yeah, it kind of depends on where I'm at and depends on the boxes and stuff. So sometimes they'll just kind of send it out to me and then I'll get them signed, sent back. And then there are other times whenever they'll come in house and just kind of be there for you. They'd be there for five, six hours. You'd be signing oh. two to 4,000 cards. 
Wow. So it kind of depends on that. But oh man, it's 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 always pretty cool just to be able to say, oh wow, this is my actual baseball card. Because as a kid, I always I always collected cards and stuff, and so now how big the card world is now, it's pretty cool just to see and then now see my own card. So I got to ask, I mean, obviously there's an age gap here. I look very good for my age. I, I think you said that before we started recording. I, I That's don't his recall part. him saying that. He That's said funny. it. Don't worry. Okay. So we're about 15 years apart. So like, I'm curious, like for you, baseball guy growing up, like Griffey was my guy, you know, 89 upper deck was like the set. So like, who was your guy growing up baseball wise or football bat, whatever sport? I would say I was... Would- I was always a Jeter fan just because I was a shortstop grew okay. up playing that position. And Couldn't say a Red Sox? He was. But then also Pedroia. I was leading to the best, yeah. There he, we go. He was all right. my all-time favorite player. And then in high school, I actually wore 17. I wore 15. My Instagram handle, bwitter15, Pedroia. That's that's the reasoning behind that. And so, oh, really? Uh, but then 17 I wore in high school was, was with 15 and 2, Jeter and Pedroia, 17. And I actually have both their jerseys autographed hanging up in my room. And so just that's, that's, I guess, kind of, those were my two guys. I'm not going to lie. That was a rough start. If you were just going to sit here and list Yankees, I was going to be pretty crushed. <laughs> All right. Pedro, no, I like though. My, my dad's from Massachusetts. So I kind of was born into being a. Is Boston that how we got this interview? Fan. That's how we got the interview. Your cousins, your dad's Everybody from, listen, dad. Listen, us people from Boston, we're all related. So Bobby's like a third cousin. It's not yeah, a big deal. Yeah, his dad and my dad are brothers. No that's, no problem. No. Anyway, so hey, so we do have like a kind of a quick giveaway. Panini's one of our big sponsors on the show. They were cool enough to send Bobby a box of Mosaic 2020, uh, 2021 Mosaic football. So we're going to do like the B-roll just so you guys don't have to listen to the packs getting ripped. But Bobby, you want to see what, see what these guys want? Hopefully we get something big here. Yeah, I'll, I'll go through them. If it's a Tom Brady auto, disclaimer, I'm keeping it. <laughs> yeah, i just tell right. Bobby a fake address, have him ship it to me. Yeah, right. I'm fair. I'm sure that's fair. Why does it say Mike Giuseppe on here? <laughs> There's a Tom Brady right there, right, as you said that. Okay, just... put that aside. Let's be serious here. <laughs> well, they all have to be uh, shipped to us, and then we'll ship them out to whoever the winners are, so. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this card kind of looks pretty crazy. Dalvin Cook. Overdrive. Oh, nice. Pretty cool. Okay. With purple mosaic. Yep. Sweet. There's a Javante Williams rookie card there. Nice. My oh. fantasy back that helped me dominate yeah, you. I, okay. Yeah, it did pretty well. That's what did pretty well for my fantasy team. Where did you end your fantasy league, Mike? I don't okay. remember. Take a breath, sweetheart. Seventh or eighth, I okay. can't. Travis Etienne. The Jags. Rookie. All right. Okay. Getting there. Said that he had an injury to begin the year. Well, he could have been something special, I think. Could we pull the other Jaguar? That'd be all right. Like a little uh, Trevor a little, Lawrence Nebula or something? Yeah. <laughs> I like Trevor Lawrence. He had a brutal season. That team's tough. I, I actually think he's going to be pretty good. So, football team, are you a Cowboys guy being in Dallas? Um, growing up Patriots fan just because of that. Uh, my, my dad being from there and everything. And so I'm kind of born and raised into that, and they were always good with me growing up. But then now I kind of transitioned into a Chiefs fan oh, just because of <laughs> Mahomes is kind of my boss, and I, we have the same trainer and oh, everything. Really? So That's cool. Yeah, so it's cool to do that. So Jamar Chase. He's oh, a stud. That's good. Going off. That's nice. Yeah, he's got to be rookie of the year, right? I, I am curious. Have, have you had like an aha game. moment yet? Like with like being on the you know being on the on a the ball field. Like one of those stand out to you? Like dude, first time facing a pitcher or whatever, seeing somebody. You ever get like star like starstruck, or does that not really happen? I think so, in spring training last year, just playing the Dodgers, being able to play the Mookie bets and seeing those guys out there, being on second base, looking out in the outfield, and there's there's Mookie, and then seeing Trout in the other dugout and those type of things. It's just kind of you look back and you're like, oh. You made it. Not you didn't make it. You're in spring training still, but pretty close. So that's pretty that's wild. Cool. That's awesome. I like that order. Trout, Mookie, Justin Bobby. Herbert looks pretty cool. Oh, nice. Nice Herbert, Star Masters. All right. Not gonna lie, Bobby's letting the audience down here. Bobby, no autos yeah, yet. No, I, I need you to pull <laughs> the best. I'm trying. I'm working. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I need you to pull the triple logo man LeBron out of this. I don't think that's in football. I don't, you don't think that's a football card? Hard to say. There's your, there's your guy. All right, oh, Trevor. I like that. Okay, take it. We'll grade that one. 
Well, no, we won't. But we'll okay. send it to somebody we'll else send to grade. Someone else to grade it. Yeah. Here's an auto right here. Uh, Sage Surratt of oh, the boy. Detroit Lions. We may need Bobby Witt to sign that card <laughs> to add a little value. I don't know who Sage Surratt is. I'm not going to lie to you, Bobby. Do you have Thank a marker you. near you? Go ahead and. Uh, if you, I think we should. I do not actually. Oh, okay, that's all right. <laughs> I'll sign the Tom Brady one. <sighs> Okay. There we uh, go. That that's was a, actually my request later, but that's fine. That's not for you. You have to give that away. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Zach Wilson, rookie. Oh, nice. Okay. I realized that after the fact. Evan, the clutch kicker, Evan. Dude. Pearson. Oh, dude. So funny story about that rookie. card. <laughs> There's like a base refractor, not even numbered, that was selling for $3. After the game, 250 bucks. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Herbert again. Herbert. Montage. I know, I do want the auto. Yeah. Oh, man. If one big auto. auto. Yeah. Whoa, okay. Patty Mahomes. Little Mahomes. Is that numbered? It is not, but it looks cool. It I'd grade cool. that thing, too. <laughs> I like that. So do you think there will see a delay or a lockout or anything like that this year? Um, I have no idea, really, honestly. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping for – I heard that things are going well. Uh, just throughout the meetings and stuff, and then so, I guess that's pretty much all you can, all you can ask for is just good talk and everything. Listen, the so. longer the delay, the hotter your cards look out there. So. It is true, actually. The baseball prospect market, like it's Stevenson, hotter. Stevenson rookie. He's a stud, my boy. That's pink rookie. There's, all right. There's Tom. Thomas Edward. Me. Mosaic. I like that. Hello. There's a. Trey Lance, rookie. So even without like a big hit, we're, we're well over 100 bucks at least. Yeah, I would all say right. so. I feel like he's going to do something here. It's, I feel like something good's just, happening. It's all a build up. Justin Fields. Nice debut. All right. I mean, we've right. literally got all the five rookies. I mean, we've got all the big rookies except Mac at this point. Blue Chips, Devontae Smith. Nice. nice. Okay. So we've got the four out of the five best quarterbacks and the two best receivers. It's not the worst box. Oh, he's got the bat wall back there. I like that. And you see the baseballs back behind that? What's the highlight on this wall behind you, Bobby? Those are all the bats my dad had when he played. So there's some solid ones. There's King Griffey Jr., <laughs> Auto Bat, Cal Ripken Jr. Dang. Uh, I think there's. I think he said there's like 12 Hall of Famers up there, so... So do you guys take those out on the weekend and play ball with them? Or? I don't think I don't think those leave the wall, but you never know. Here's the other auto. Is it a bigger name than Sage? Oh boy, he doesn't look no. excited. <laughs> he doesn't look Maybe. excited. I'm gonna tell you right now. Maybe John Taylor. Okay, a little Receiver. old school. Yeah, Hall of Famer. Old school. San Fran. Sure. Man, I thought it was gonna be a Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <sighs> Would From Home bad. Improvement? Yep. Sure. One and only. All right. All right. Not That's a bad one. At least we got a Hall of Famer. All right. That works. I mean, <clears throat> did you know Jonathan? T- you I, familiar? John Taylor. Yeah. He was did you? Cousins with he Jonathan played with your boy other. Montana. I yeah. thought you might know him. Of course. I know Montana. All right. Um, awesome. Bobby, thank you for going through and opening those cards. Yeah. We'll give, I mean, so we'll find a way to give them away. We'll do like I a may have missed comment. some other ones, so, but. Yeah, well, you know what? That's just like the bonus when we get them to give them yeah. to the winners. We'll just be like, oh, there was all of a sudden a whatever Tom Brady rookie card in here, which that doesn't make yeah. sense. 21 <laughs> years later, could have yeah. been stuck to somebody else. Yeah, exactly. nice. Well, good deal. Um, right. Awesome. Bobby, really appreciate you jumping on, man. This has been, you know, uh, the fact that you had the time being that you are kind of like the elite prospect right now, uh, huge gratitude. Thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Yeah, thank you so thank much. Thank you for having me. This is I always wanted to do this. Yeah, well, I like it, man. Hey, we'll have some send send some more stuff your way anytime you want to rip. You are welcome to come back and rip. So we'll find a way awesome. to give that away. We do appreciate it, man. Perfect. And I hopefully we'll see you in the diamond awesome, soon. Guys. All right, buddy. Thank have you. a good one. Yes, sir. See you. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye. All right, so there you go. There was Bobby. We're gonna give those away to one winner. We're gonna do like all the rookies, hits, and autos. Yeah. Unless he actually signs a Tom Brady card for us, then it's going on the shelf. We'll redesign the whole we'll studio on. when you see the next episode. Next week, we won't be here in the studio. We'll be in L.A. Next time you see us in studio, hopefully there there's be, an autographed Tom Brady card. There's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of good changes. Good changes coming. So to win, we're going to do, in the comments of the YouTube video here, just put your favorite segment, past present. or present. Or future. 
Drop, <laughs> drop your favorite segment ideas you've Get never in seen. Get your DeLorean. Go ahead. Tell us what we do that's the best. Yeah. So we'll give. And honestly, there was nothing crazy huge, but it's a couple hundred bucks worth of stuff. So yeah, I would grade some of those. The rookies especially. See what you got there. But yeah, we'll give them away to one winner. Drop in the comments your favorite segment you've seen on this episode or on one of our shows. Thank you, Bobby. Appreciate you coming out. I already thanked him on the video. I don't want to do it again. All right. Fair enough. Golden. It's golden hour. I've got the sound effects, Jason. Don't worry. I just did it right there. No uh, shower jokes either. I'm done. I'm a new man. Haircut. I shaved before I came in. This is no joke, dude. This is my trial run for LA. Go ahead, Ken. I guarantee I look better than Ken today. I look great. This is one of the most iconic trading Ken's cards here. iconic images of <laughs> he is. Take three. <laughs> How famous is it? That's a 33 Ruth. Shows That's cool. Golden to place this particular image on our wall of fame as you walk into our entrance. It also happens to be a 1933 Gaudi card. Oh, that's that's autographed. Okay. The very first time that trading cards. Dang. That doesn't happen often, does it? With bubble gum. What makes this Auto one nine? so unique? is that this one is signed by Babe Ruth. Yeah, that's so ridiculous. Very few of these exist. I would bet that probably less than a dozen of this particular card signed exist in the world. But out of all of them, Dude, that's clean. this one is graded a mint nine signature, the highest graded signature on this card in existence, and it is absolutely wow. stunning. You can get it right now in our Elite Auction. So oh, I man. love that card. Obviously, that's my chase. You know, I've been doing the rookies. I got a bunch over here we're going to do for a TikTok from, like, my recent. That's not his real rookie, but, like, rookie autograph vintage. I really want the Jim Brown rookie autograph. I can't Would you even, ever want a Babe Ruth rookie? I'll be honest with you. Babe Ruth makes no... I, I, I have no connection or appeal to Babe Ruth. Oh, really? I feel the, the same way, but Michael... Sandlot has my connection to it. That's... Well, if you're going Sandlot, you go James Earl Jones. Well, or Hercules. <laughs> Is Hercules still signing? The dog. That dog's like 400 <laughs> years old in dog years now. Uh, that was awesome that Ken came on and did that, though. Is James Earl Jones still alive, actually? Yeah, James Earl Jones is, is still alive. Yeah, he did Darth Vader in the last movie. Um, so along on. with that, though. Back to your point real quick. Yeah. No, I don't. it's funny. I don't care about Ruth, and I don't care about Jordan. Okay. I, I never. I, those are two guys that's just not on my list. I just don't need to have their stuff. That's fair enough. If I, that came to me, I'd sell it immediately and buy Brady. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, along with uh, Babe Ruth. They're also doing a lot of Marvel stuff coming out. Oh, yeah, this out, is your segment. I think is awesome because essentially Marvel is only growing. They just set a new record recently. Uh, there was like a page, a page from a comic book that did over $3 million at auction just recently. Um, what? Yeah, it's insane. They've got Deadpool cards. They've got Hang Moon on a Knight. Sec. It's just a, it's one page. It's a from page a- from a comic. You don't even know what happens. Single page. Is it the last page? It doesn't matter. It's just Does the he fact, live? It's just the fact that with Deadpool, Moon Knight, uh, all these other Marvel movies, those have shows and movies coming out soon. Uh, you've got Iron Man. Um, He's d- you've got Hulk, which Hulk's going to be in a few other things coming up. Uh, bottom, I'm saying bottom line too much. Say but it again. Bottom line is this is going to continue to grow, in my opinion. I think that if you are not already invested in Marvel cards, you, you should at least check some out if you can get your hands on them. Michael, you had a question? Is Iron Man doing a... He's dead, though, right? Are they oh, bringing him back? No, but Iron Man, his oh, okay. daughter, like the character will live on in some oh, sense, goodness. more than likely. Why can't we just kill people and they stay dead? <laughs> Honestly. And the Spider-Man That's, movie, isn't it like almost setting the record for highest grossing thing ever? Avatar um, style or something? Pretty much. Close. That it, it's, I think, the fourth highest grossing film or something like that, um, at least in the U.S., but yeah. Ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Um, hey, Mike, why are you such a loser? Geo's losers. I like that setup. There's not even a segment you just want to call me that. All right, I'm going to preface this too. I have two minutes or less so I don't get yelled at by Jesse. While you're prefacing, I just want to point out on our TikTok, we posted this highest view count. People love to 55, see that, you, that not everyone makes money on cards. Sometimes you lose. I'm going to address the TikTok crowd real quick, though. You pointed the camera you want me to look at. I'll go wherever you want. Point it, look at that one. Okay. Let me clear my nose a little bit. No COVID there. Don't worry about it. So, yeah, I, th- I thought this was funny. So, yeah, they got like 55,000 views on TikTok, which was cool. Um, he, he, let me just preface this by saying, I'm not talking about this because in general I've taken a bath on cards. I've yes. made a ton of money, as a lot of people have, but nobody ever talks about the other side of, hey, I got murdered on this. Yep. And then the thinking was, well, he bought the, all these Durant's base. What an idiot. I bought a ton of base in the last two years and absolutely crushed it. I don't think it's a bad play. I held those too long. 
So this is a play of something. Okay, because if you want to get critical of base, that's fine. None of these are base. So all PSA 10 Zions. I started buying Zion as soon as the season ended last year. This is just a show of me wiping my nose. Yep. I started buying when it ended. As the season started ramping up, it was like, man, he's injured, but he's going to be back. So I kind of bought all through the off season at at the time, low prices. Assuming uh, that he's going to come back uninjured, right. healthy. Yeah. So, like, stuff like this. Mosaic Reactive Blue. Oh, all these are PSA 10s. Mosaic Reactive Orange. Uh, some of the big stuff. Orange Ice out of Prism. A ruby Wave. Red, White, and Blue. Green Prisms. I did not uh, know your Zion collection silver. was that big. Oh, yeah. I dropped about 40K in the offseason on Zion. Oh. It's probably worth about 25 today. Um, and that, I mean, it just goes to show you. Again, horrible move buying him. I thought his hype would be enough to carry him through, and I thought once he actually gets on the seat on the floor during the season, it would just be stupid and take off. And especially that, yes, his base is going to come down way low. I understood that ahead of time, but I thought especially the non-base stuff, like I'm going to do really good, but I got absolutely murdered on Zion as of right now. Okay, however, so what's the play? I'm not selling any of those right now. I'm not taking a loss on any Zions yet. I still okay. think there's a chance we see him this season. I think there's still so much hype, so much buildup, so many guys holding when he comes back. I think we'll see a momentary bump, but the first chance I get to break even, I'd sell 85% of them because this is wow. a very small stack. I probably have 80 to eighty to 100 gems of his stuff. I mean, I bought a ton really? of stuff. So real quick, though, the other side of that, because all he does is lose, Geo's winners. Yeah, right. you actually win something. I bought a stack. I've only got two with me. I bought a stack of PSA 10 Jabba Rants. When his stuff dropped, I was getting those for like a buck fifty, paying a little under comps. They're mm-hmm. doing about two fifty right now. That was a cool one. Nice. And then super small play, Desmond Bain's my guy. I've been talking about Desmond Bain for months now in the Grizzly offseason. Fan. Yeah, I like the Grizzlies. He's local. Same thing. I went with all of his like just non-base stuff. Rated rookies, gold, silvers, couple like select hollows. I got almost all those out of a dollar box. I had really? to show up in Boston. So insane. So just like again, super super cheap stuff, but it's going to multiply. So who cares if you make three dollars on a card? If you paid a buck, it's a three hundred percent return. But yes, I am a loser. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> uh, well, there you go, folks. I think we are excited because super next time Bowl? people see us. We will be in L.A. in our fancy outfits. Granted, I'll probably be wearing this. You've I'm uh, not changing. You have a new wardrobe. <laughs> Ten days. <laughs> um, we're really excited to be out in L.A. We really want to uh, engage with the celebrity, uh, if you will. I fully plan on meeting Emmett Smith, my childhood uh, hero, with my... I'm going to show him the outfit of me. Can you wear that shirt Simba again? Simba and my Emmett Smith jersey and my bowl cut, so... Yeah, so we're going to do some live content from uh, LA Live with Panini. They're putting us up there. Panini's doing a huge thing, which is awesome. Hopefully, we have some product to rip. They're going to have signings. We're going to get some live signings, some interviews with people. We're going to do some live content at Burbank, LA Bullpen. It's going to be a pretty awesome week, so make sure you come back next week. I'm a sweater, by the way. This is not going to work. <laughs> I am just, it's just, just like my, like you said, just holding all the moisture in. So That's our feats of strength for the week. Who can sweat more in a single sitting? You know. You know I'm winning that one. Okay, child. All right, look. Don't cut. Bye. Put your arm down. (laughs) Goodbye.